First up, Apple. You trimmed 3 million shares to 249.5 million shares of Apple, and that caught a lot of people by surprise. They were wondering if you were selling. No. Uh, the the one, one other fellow in the office, one of the two, uh, had about six or seven million shares. He had it before I did. Uh, and uh, uh, he works with a limited amount of money, 13 billion roughly. So if he wants to buy something, he needs to sell something. If I want to buy something, I've got cash around to do it. So he sold about three million shares, I believe, uh, cut it in half roughly to buy, to buy something else. And, uh, uh, and I didn't, I, I, I've never sold a share. So th th this was not even a conversation you had with him, I take it? This is it, either Todd or Ted, business. you're not going to say who. It's, it's his business. Yeah, I mean, they do not check with me. Uh, I, I sometimes learn at the end of, well, I do at the end of the month, I, I look and see how their portfolio compares to the month before and see what they've done. This generated a lot of questions from viewers, and let's go to one, T14. Uh, Jedi Marcus wrote in, if you loved it, meaning Apple, undervalued at 200 plus and a trillion dollar valuation, at $200 plus and a trillion dollar valuation, why would you sell any of this past quarter? You've answered it already. You didn't sell yeah, it. Yeah, and incidentally, I've, I've never paid 200 for any stock uh, in Apple. Anyway. Uh, what did you start buying at 160 or something? Was that? No, well, I, no, I think our average, average, the average so. cost about 141 or something like that. Okay. Uh, there was a question that also came in um, from Rick Safaraz. This is T90. He said, do you plan on adding to your Apple position throughout 2019? And I, I just want to also bring up a tweet from Jim Cramer. He tweeted back on February 5th. Doesn't Apple trade like Berkshire is back buying? I spoke with Kramer about it, and he said, look, I don't know anything. It's just all of a sudden the stock's really picking up. It's almost as if. So mm -hmm. are you interested at lower levels? I'm always interested at lower levels <clears throat> in, in, in a number of stocks we own. There's some <clears throat> where, where we really can't go over 10%, and generally I don't like to go over 10% because it, it complicates life quite a bit. <clears throat> with banks, it, it actually throws us into the bank holding company Act, uh, uh, ground. So there are stocks that I would buy that we own nine and a fraction percent, and I actually may be selling a little bit because they're repurchasing their shares, and I don't want to drift over ten percent. Uh, uh, but uh, Apple, it, it, I don't see myself selling. The, 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 every the lower it goes, the, the better I like it, obviously. I mean, Apple is is not one of those ten percent stocks. Don't you own about five percent of the shares? Five percent. So, is this a situation where you have been silent, buying since it came so much lower at the end of December? It's really not back to where it, it may have briefly, very briefly, got there. But uh, but uh, uh, if it were cheaper, we'd be buying it. <laughs> we aren't buying it here. There was another question that came in. This is T91 from Umar Zubair, Zubair, who said, Apple decelerated share purchases, share repurchases, from around $20 billion in the third quarter to around $8 billion in the fourth quarter, just when the stock price went down by about 30%. <clears throat> in fact, Apple repurchased zero shares in December of 2018 when the stock had a 52-week low. What are your thoughts on Apple's repurchase deceleration? Well, and Apple has said publicly that they're, and they've, re, they've repeated it, uh, that their goal is to reach what they call a cash neutral position where their debt <clears throat> is roughly equal to the cash. I think that would take 130 billion or so to get there, but of course they could make some acquisitions. On the other hand, they're earning a lot more than their dividends, so that number goes up. Mentally, I say to myself, we're very likely, uh, I, I, and, and a lot of things could change this with them. Uh, and, and the lower the price goes, the better it gets. But they should be at four billion shares probably in maybe three years, and so our our five percent would become uh, something over six percent at that point. And I, I like that prospect. And then we might buy some ourselves. Who knows? It depends on the price. But they will buy a lot more stock if it's cheaper than if it's at, if it's higher. And and. You know, it's just simple math. We're better off if in the next three years Apple is cheaper.